the last cluster is the one from Orange Walk. Um, five family members um, all linked to illegal crossing in Orange Walk. Um, so those five, four cases initially diagnosed um, or detected on Thursday and one other family member on Friday. Um, contact tracing had already started from when these people were initially reported. Um, um, they were um, isolating, if you will, in a farm close to Carmelita village. Um, they had reported being in on the Mexican side due to a family emergency during the first part of June. And since then they had not been crossing the border um, over there. Um, because of when we found them, which is six to seven weeks later, we don't anticipate that they actually got infected when they visited the Mexican community across the border. But what we later found out is that one of their family members has continued to come from the Mexican side, who lives on, Mex in the, on the Mexican side, to come to visit them at the farm where they have been isolating. So they were aware, it would seem, that they had been at risk. That's the reason why they went to isolation into a farm. But we assume that the family member who comes and goes, um, or who is coming and going routinely every week, uh, could have been the, the source um, of infection, if you will, and that's how the, the family members became infected. Um, we managed to gather all the data. We managed to also find out, because one of the questions people said, but how do you know that they are in, in the fact isolating? I mean, when we found out who was a family member, the one who had been providing them with food so that they wouldn't have to come out for all that extended period of time. Um, and it was a family member that also had um, alerted us of the situation with, um, with their relatives. So that's why the contact tracing managed to tie up um, all the pieces. We went back to the community where they are originally from and we could not find any person in that community who had um, reported seeing them in the last six to seven weeks.